I just want to see the Northern Lights. I've got a few places on my bucket wish list. I want to go to India. I need to go to the States, New York, San Francisco. I haven't been there yet. I just want to see more of the world. I've seen quite a lot, but I still want to see more. See the wonders of the world, the beauty of the world, everything that makes this planet so special and prodigious. What's with all the hate? The paradox of religious freedom. It's already here, and it has been here from the offset. Where are the statistics of suicidal religious teens that are comparative to suicidal LGBTQ teens? Why is the world more shocked and reactive towards openly spoken atheists than they are of people of faith? get misconstrued as evil and negative when we state that we don't believe in heaven and angels, or certainly not as the Bible paints it. Religious people are given a pat on the back for envisioning a perfect afterlife. If a young child or a teenager suggests that they don't believe in God or the Bible, they're immediately condemned. When a child states that they do believe, they're deemed the perfect little specimen. Don't get me wrong, each and every one for their own beliefs. I don't think it's wrong for someone to be religious. I just think it's wrong for me. What I also think is wrong are so-called religious people who are actually masking their zealot thoughts, who truly believe emphatically that religious freedom gives them a right to discriminate and turn away decent human beings on the basis of sexual orientation or gender or race, creed or color. Why stop there? they'd probably condemn people with disabilities and autism too. Wasn't that wrong in some obscure section of the Old Testament? If it wasn't, I'm sure someone would make their own man-made rules about them not being normal. Statistically, anyone out there who has any idea of what being different actually means will understand that it's us who endure dissension, hate and violence at the hands of bigots and extremists. It's us that watch our own kind being tortured, imprisoned or killed all over the world in the name of religion. Suicide numbers are high, even within first world countries where we do have some rights. But suicide is probably a lot more humane than what some people do to people like us. What people truly need to understand, and I'm sure many of us do, is that religious freedom is not about love and acceptance or tolerance. It's about feeling empowered and superior to the minority. It's about fear of what they don't comprehend and don't intend to. It's about trying to revoke human rights from people like us because they just can't stand watching the world evolve. Evolution is exactly what narrow-minded zealots fear and deny. Some people just don't want to be dragged from an antiquated past and thrust into a more accepting and promising future. And the people who want religious freedom, which is already here, spend a lifetime of fighting with vigor to suppress our rights and stop people like us from self-expression. So much energy and time consumed to fight a war against difference. How often do we see LGBTQ members rallying or protesting against religious groups? Never because minority groups very rarely judge others. So if we can behave rationally and respect other people's status, then why can't they do the same? There are people dying of starvation, famine and diseases all over the world. Far more atrocities are taking place all around us. And yet, still, people are more concerned about gay people's sexual antics, which is really what it's all about when you think about it. Why not invest some of your energy and tenacity into helping underprivileged people like a good person of religion is supposed to? So much hate coming from people who are supposed to love thy neighbour and do one to others as they would like done to themselves.
It's a beautiful world, people. Please stop ruining it.